Ernesto Rojas Telles is a Venezuelan artist living in Colombia. A few years ago, he started collecting the inflation-ravaged Venezuelan currency called the Bolívar. Using colors, brushes, and iconic characters, he is turning this almost useless currency into art. He calls his project the Complement to Art Project. Around 2018 or 2017, people literally threw the bills on the floor. Walking around and seeing all that money, I realized the only value it had was emotional, so I would pick it up and take it home. The Bolivar's loss in value has inspired Tejas to set up an art collective with his colleagues, who worked in Bogotá, Colombia, using the Bolivar as their canvas. It was born as the idea of making an initiative where we can share the knowledge, how to prepare the canvas, the materials, how to manage the proportions. Ernesto does not work alone. He is joined by Juan Carlos, a Colombian who firmly believes that fate brought them together to work on something they love. Muchos, muchas voces. In each bill, in each work, in each representation that I do, I try to leave the love. Whoever takes it, not only takes a piece of cardboard or a piece of canvas, but also takes the love the artist puts into it. Characters like former U.S. President Barack Obama are part of this work of art drafted on bills worth roughly $22 to $25. We have characters from the United States, icons of struggle, Martin Luther King, Obama, Nelson Mandela in Africa. Tourists and residents can watch the artists as they work. I find them pretty, very expressive. I think it's great how they can use it to express art. Using something with no value as their raw material, these artists have given the Bolivar a second life and transformed this money into a new way to make a living. For Jair Diaz in Bogotá, Colombia, Cristina Caicedo Smith, VOA News.